In this video, we're gonna be answering the question, are we living in the last days? Coming up. What's up everyone, my name is Eric Monjadez. I am a Bible teacher and executive pastor. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I will be posting new videos every Thursday, calling them Theology Thursdays, where I'll be discussing a theological topic, uh, a variety of theological topics from ethics to apologetics to even politics. Theology is meant to be studied in God's word, but it's also meant to be experienced and applied to our lives. So my hope for Theology Thursdays is to teach you God's word and show how theology and God's word impacts our lives all around us. Now to answer the question, are we living in the last days? I recently had a friend ask me this personally because there are a lot of TikTok videos, a lot of hashtags, end times, last days out there, a lot of posts on social media, Facebook, because 2020 has been a really difficult year for a lot of us. Now, I wanna answer the question, are we living in the last days? Yes, we are, but let me explain. We have been living in the last days since Jesus rose from the dead and ascended and is seated at the right hand of the Father. So we've been living in the last days from that time, 2000 years ago, to our present time, to the time you're watching this video. So we have been living in the last days for the last 2000 years, and we may be living in the last days for the next 2000 years, because no one knows when Jesus will return. It's important to understand that because no one knows when that last day is. Jesus t told us in Matthew 24, no one knows the hour, no one knows the day of his return. So when you have people who post on social media saying that they know when Jesus returns or he's gonna come at some uh, point in life, some point in like a year from now, you can know that they're wrong because no one knows when Jesus will return. Now, the New Testament authors also believe that they are living in the last days. That's why John and 1 John could say that this is now the last hour. That's why Peter can also say that Jesus was made manifest in these last days. That's why the author of Hebrews in Hebrews chapter 1 could tell us that in these last days, God has spoken through his son, Jesus. So they believe that, that they were living in the last days. Are they wrong? No, they're not wrong because the time that they wrote it was right after it was after Jesus' ascension. So they're in that period of time from Jesus' ascension to where we are now, which is the period of the last days. Now, for all those who are Christians watching this video, I want to be able to uh, com comfort you so that you don't uh, feel scared about the event of the last days. Many times there are a lot of professing Christians that get scared that uh, these are the last days because they feel like their uh, salvation is not secure. Now, if you are a Christian, you genuinely believe in the gospel, Jesus has transformed your life, you're following Jesus, you are a Christian, rest assured that Jesus has secured you for eternity that he has promised that he will uh, keep you and he will um, save you forever. So you don't have to worry about when Jesus comes. Instead, you actually should look forward to Jesus coming because he ends the world of sin. Think about how sin has affected all of our lives, the history of the world, uh, your life specifically. Think of how sin has affected that. Jesus, when Jesus returns, he will end sin. As far as it is from the east from the west, he will remove the curse of sin and we will, believe, we will be living in perfect unity and harmony and peace with God and Jesus and with each other, all those who have faith in Jesus on this new earth uh, where God has promised us we will be. Now, it isn't helpful for, peop for people to say, we're living in the last days, you better get right. I believe it's more helpful to share the gospel with people, telling them what Jesus has done. He lived perfectly uh, because we are imperfect sinners. Jesus died on the cross to forgive our sins because we need our sins to be forgiven. Jesus rose from the dead, granting all those who believe in him eternal life. It's more helpful to tell them that message than to try to scare them into following Jesus. We need to share the gospel with them because the gospel is the power that saves. Now you could tell them, yes, we're living the last days, but there's hope 
for all those who believe in this gospel. So there is a negative connotation that comes with just saying that we're living in the last days without sharing the gospel. Um, it's positive to always share the gospel with our family, friends, and even on social media. Uh, we don't have to shy away from the last days, but as a Christian, we shouldn't uh, tell people, hey, it's the last days, you better get right. Instead, we should share the gospel with them because the gospel has the power to change lives. When we say it's the last days, you better get right, it often promotes this message that says you have the ability to fix yourself uh, before Jesus comes. And that's not the truth. The truth in the gospel is that the gospel saves us. It does the work of saving through the Holy Spirit's power. We don't do anything to change our lives or fix our lives. Uh, God has done that in us. So now we are changed and now we can live new lives. And so when we tell people that it's the last days, we should keep that in mind, share the gospel with them. So in conclusion, yes, we are living the last days, but we don't know when the last day will occur. But we need to look forward to that day because Jesus will end sin once and for all. And we would hope that that comes soon, uh, but we don't know when that will occur. So just continue to hope for, continue to believe, continue to follow Jesus and look forward to that day where he ends sin and we live with him forever, all those who are in Christ. Now, if you want me to go deeper into this topic about end times and end times theology, and you uh, have a question or have a comment, go down in the comment section. I'd love to interact with you there. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button and share on your social media platforms. And I'll see you next time.